Hey everyone, back at it again with another one of my bikes. 1971 disc brake pea picker. It is uh, the December model, so it was one of the earlier ones to get the disc on it. But bike is all original, down to the tubes, with the exception of three things. The, uh, the set is chain, the derailleur, and the handlebar grips. Everything else was with the bike when I got it. I uh, actually got lucky on this one. The uh, Got it through a Craigslist ad. I did a little bit of fishing. You know, threw an ad out there kind of hoping that something would come back. And Sure enough, it, it netted me this. I uh, had a guy basically send me some pictures and an email. And the email is titled Granny Smith Apple Crate. And uh, must, uh, must have known a little bit about the Apple Crate, but maybe not so much about the pea picker. And and called this one the Granny Smith Apple. So, anyway, the three pictures he sent me were uh, basically one of each side, and then he sent me a picture of the rear wheel, which, of course, we know has that disc brake on it. And the problem was is that the bike and the pictures he sent me, man, everything looked like it was about one step away from the grave. It looked like everything was about gonna have to be replaced. The paint was all dingy. You know, the fenders were all looking like they were all rusted out. I won't even get into the topic about the wheels, but, but man, everything looked like it was just about going to have to be redone. But uh, sure enough, I figured the picture of that rear wheel lawn was worth checking it out in person. So ended up meeting up the guy, and when he pulled the bike out of, out of the back of his truck, man, everything that thought was rust turned out to be grease. And it just saved everything. It was unbelievable. Ended up paying three whole hundred dollars for this. I'll say it's probably one of the best scores I've ever gotten. Couldn't believe it. I'll say the whole bike looked like it just been hanging in the basement of a choking puke, as the bandit would say. But, but man, I tell you what, it was definitely, definitely a thing of joy to see this thing get dragged out the back of a truck with, with just all that grease on it. Cause it just, it just saved everything on this bike. I'll say everything, like I said, is all original. The seat had to take some stickers off that were kind of peeling off, but. Other than that, man, everything's just just beautiful to stare at. All the cables, man, I just, I kind of get overjoyed about talking about this bike because I know I'll probably never find another one for that type of price point again, but but there she is. There's, there's the money thing right there. That disc brake on it, making this pretty rare bird in its own right. 71, basically 72 production year. Makes this last year for the pea picker and uh you know you always have the bikes out there that command a little bit more than everything else you have uh basically the gray ghost obviously you have a one-year production model then you have that sunset orange crate which is a one-year thing in 73 and uh this in all honesty should be right there with it because this is a one-year thing for this since they didn't make them in 73 you can only get a disc brake pea picker once that's 72 model year and uh you know that's that's one of the things there's practically about three rare bikes at the top of a list before you hit a cotton picker and that's the uh, the gray ghost the disc brake pea picker and the sunset orange and luckily enough i have two of the three i don't have a sunset orange but but i do have a gray ghost i just made a bit of it uh, a little bit of uh, earlier so you can go check it out see what i have to say about it but but yep, this bike definitely one of my uh, one of my favorites. Once I got it all cleaned up and spent a lot of time with a dental pick on it, some uh, some very light rust remover and, and Q-tips, got it all greased up and actually took it to a show that we go to in the winter. And uh, the bikes uh, the bike actually took first place in the crate class, beating out a couple of restored bikes. And that's that's just a great feeling to have an original bike like this and be able to beat beat out some stuff that every nut and bolt on it's all brand new and shiny but but yeah this is this is definitely one of my favorites made made green one of my favorite colors i have to admit but uh but yeah that's that's my 1971 disc brake pea picker i'll say this is uh this is the fourth one i've added to the collection uh added a lot more since then but but uh this is definitely as i said one of my favorites so uh thanks for watching the video more bikes to come. Y'all have a great day.